Today we're at the Pete Pfeiffer Hatchery outside of Frankfort, Kentucky. We're gonna see an interesting surgical procedure on freshwater sturgeon. Now, very few folks have ever seen one of these fish outside captivity. Last capture was 1954 in the Upper Cumberland. How long has this project been going on where we've decided to, where you guys have decided to bring these fish back? It's been uh, going on since 2007, and this was a state wildlife grant program, so it's a conservation restoration project. These fish were raised in the hatchery, and today they weigh about four to five pounds. How long will it take this fish to get to be, you know, 60, 70 pound fish, which they're fully capable of? Probably 10 to 15 years, um, you know, assuming they have, you know, good growth. These fish are big enough to where you can put a transmitter in them. These sturgeon are given an anesthetic bath to knock them out. A small cut is made on the underside of the sturgeon. Now again, these fish are under anesthesia, so they don't feel anything. Then the transmitter is implanted. Now these implanted transmitters will aid biologists in the tracking and study of Kentucky's lake sturgeon population. We can kind of look at what kind of habitat they're using, um, where they're, where they're kind of hanging out in the river, and use that to try and figure out maybe what kind of habitats would be best suited for, for the fish that we're stocking. After some stitch work, the sturgeon are placed back in the tank where they recover. We are uh, you know, trying to reestablish a native population above Wolf Creek Dam. So this is sort of an experimental uh, project. How many fish have we put out there so far? To date, uh, we've released about 14,000 fish. Uh, so, and really that, that seems like a lot, but um, we, we really don't know what percentage of those fish are actually surviving. Um, two weeks ago, we let them sit in the, recover in the hatchery for about two weeks, and today we're stocking 15 down here at the Big South Fork, and then another 15 over at the mouth of the Laurel River. They used to be here and it's their native range. We're just trying to reintroduce the species back to its, its native, native range. But we've got a large enough area that we think that uh, given t enough time and assuming that we have good survivability, they'll reproduce naturally. How many years old are they before they can start to uh, reproduce? Well, 12 to 15 years. And the males mature faster than the, than the females. So, um, you know, the females won't be ready probably for at least 15 years. We've still got quite a while in, in our program and, and we hope that we have good uh, survivability uh, until then and we have enough individuals out there that you know they they can find each other and 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 move up into the tributaries to spawn we've had reports of I think almost 10, 10 lake sturgeon caught already this spring. Including this one caught by Larry Heck below Wolf Creek Dam and his wife Amanda writes, it was the first sturgeon for Larry. We thought it was very, very cool. Now he thought it was about 20 inches long and released it, which is exactly what you should do if you catch one. Because our, our goal is to have these fish survive and you know we, we want them to uh, make it to reproductive age and ultimately that's our measure of success, that, that we document natural reproduction. So we want as many of these fish to survive as possible. So yeah, we please ask that, that if you were to catch one of these, uh, to release them unharmed. You know, in Kentucky, we've obviously seen the major uh, animals. We've seen the elk come back, we've seen the deer come back, and we've seen the turkey come back. They used right. to be here. Right. These guys used to be here, and sometimes the fisheries, see, we don't quite, you know, they're not as big and as visible. Mm -hmm. Now you can't beat putting the native fish back into the native waters. Yeah.